Hi friends, today we are going to see how to use the MySQL Workbench to create and delete databases and also how to input the data into the database. So let's start the queries. So create database test db. So I'm going to execute the query. So here you can see one row was affected and it is successful. So let's refresh the schemas. So here you can see the test database was created successfully. So now what I'm going to create is I'm going to create a table using the GUI editor. Just create. Yeah, you have. So here I'm going to create student. So leave it as it is. So leave it as it is and select apply so you, here you can see this query was going to be executed while selecting the apply but this option that is a apply button so I'm going to apply so here you can see there was an error which was created so this is how you can troubleshoot while executing the queries in MySQL workbench. So you can see there was an error while applying the SQL script. I have error in the SQL script. So check the manual to perform the area at line 2. So what I am going to do is I am just going to cancel. So let's apply it. And Right. So again, we have created the same problem. So, so you can see there are more and more errors are coming. So I need to input the table by giving the column name so I'm just going to double click it so it has created some column name that is score ID so make it as a int that is a data type as int and it's a primary key and that is uh, it was not null and leave it as it is and the next one is student code name so it is worker it's not null and leave it as it is yeah and select apply now so here you can see the column has been added by dropping the old ID which was created by default by the work, workbench so I'm just going to apply it so it was applied successfully so now you can open the database and open the table student so here you can see student ID and student name has came here you can see the information about the table and what I'm going to do now is let's go to the settings of this table. Yeah, we have got the settings of this table here. And you can see here you have got all the options here. You can see the engine which it was running and it uh, was using the default population which was selected. And you can also check out the triggers options foreign keys etc etc by using this settings option you can also see the foreign keys and the indexes using this navigator so we have created a table and let's see how to drop the table so I'm just going to right click this option and here you can see there is an option called drop table I'm just going to drop it 
so here it is asking for confirmation and I'm going to drop the table so I have drop and let's see how to drop a database I'm going to right click on the database and here you can see drop schema so I'm just going to click the drop schema and it will delete the database and here you can see it was deleted successfully So this is how you will create and delete the databases using the MySQL on which. So thank you for watching the video. In my next video, I will show you how to use the foreign keys and how to use the joins uh, one by one. So keep on watching my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.